Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um, I've already got some of my stuff already applied. We had a slight situation when I was trying to film before. I'm gonna be doing like a full face, almost first impressions of drugstore affordable products. Um, I have my Cody Airspun, I have my L'Oreal Lumi Foundation, I have my Flower Beauty Highlighting Palette. On my eyes I have the Makeup Revolution and Soap X. Some Kaleido Kaleido Cosmetics that I got in an Ipsy bag. So we're just going to kind of do like an affordable drugstore look. I was sitting down filming and um, little one I'd wonder isn't feeling too good today so um we had to do an emergency bath with the cat not fun and we have to go to the drugstore and get him some emodium so yeah it's kind of been one of those days but let's move on with the video on my brows now i can't find my brow pencil goodness i went in with the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in Brunette. This can be found at most Ulta or at Ulta and most CVSs. Um, I know that I worked at two different CVSs and one carried LA Girl, the other one didn't. So it just depends on the location. If you hear whining, Bailey's in her crate. I'm trying to get this done and the animals are not wanting to cooperate today. Is it a full moon or something? Because they're like crazy. So, I went in, I set my eyes with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. And then I went in with this shade here, which is Pancakes, to set it. I went in with Mug Cake on the outer V. And then I am now using Grow Old on the inner part of my eyes. And this is what I've come up with so far. So, almost done with the inner part of the eyes. Let's just get a little bit more of that gold on. I'm using my Ulta Beauty Matte Makeup Setting Spray. Spritz it and just do a little bit more. I am using the mirror in here because it is really, really nice. And I found with this color, you do want to use a setting spray of some sort or get it wet. So I'm liking that. These colors are super easy to blend. Very, very, very minimal fallout. And I'm gonna go back in with my Urban Decay Naked Smoky Brush. I'm gonna get some more of Tiramisu, which is the lighter brown, and just kind of blend the Grow Old and this together so there aren't really any harsh lines and the tiramisu I had more up in my crease so I'm just kind of molding the two together this palette is like absolutely stunning I am really really loving it I love the color variation so you have your pops of color here you have some neutrals um, I'm just gonna swatch a few of them that I think would be kind of nice. So I'm gonna do Mixed Berries, which is the kind of more purple shade. So there's that stunning. I'm gonna do this green, which is Pine Tree. Hello. Gorge. I'm gonna do petrol, which is right next to that. It's like a duochrome. It reminds me kind of of like the wet and wild. Oh, yes. And I am going to swatch, let's do this one down here, the copper coin, and see how that is. Ooh, very, very pretty. Wow, Makeup Revolution like never ceases to amaze me with what they do. I really, really like their products. Um, I'm working on getting a full face of Makeup Revolution. I've almost, almost got it. So now I am going to go in with some J Cat Mattifying Face Primer. It's pore minimizing and oil free. This you can get online at Ulta. I don't know if they actually sell it in the stores or on the J-Cat Beauty website. It's just like a silicone primer. 
So I'm just gonna kind of press that into my pores and bring that on out to my face and get a little bit more for my forehead. It's actually pretty nice. It dries down pretty quick. So, so far I'm liking that. So now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. It says it's a buildable, luminous foundation. And I did get the same shade, which is C4 as my liquid, and I love that. So let's see what we get. You got a good size mirror, your little poofy, and then you open it and you have your foundation. So I'm not a big fan of the poofs. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender and, oh. You guys hear that? Sounds kind of cool. So I'm just gonna use the mirror. I'm gonna try using the mirror. I also have my regular mirror right here. And I'm just gonna go in and blend away. Okay, not mad. I have like one other cushion foundation which is the Wet n Wild, and I love it. It is so gorgeous. I'm gonna go back in and go this side. I have a couple blemishes. So let's see how this works compared to the liquid. I love the liquid. It is just so comfortable so beautiful on the skin just a tad bit more you know i like to be full coverage am i doing anything today not really i do have to go to the store like i said to get some medicine for the little devil cat um, the cup race is on today, so I will be watching that later tonight, and probably just, like, do some emails or chill out. I kind of got the house to myself this evening, so I'm just going to relax a little bit. Okay, so that's, like, the equivalent of two pumps, and I am really loving this. I have two blemishes right here and like one that's trying to heal there. So this is actually pretty nice so far. I'm not mad, I'm not hating. And it is, like I said, buildable. So, like that. Now I'm gonna go in with my Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer and I am in Porcelain. This can be found at Ulta. It is very, very affordable. Um, very affordable like the Essence that I recently did a review on. It does have a nice doe foot applicator. And I'm just gonna put a little there where that blemish is, a little down my nose and up here. And just cause I gotta be extra today. I'm gonna take the other end of my sponge and blend that in. And you guys know like I am super picky when it comes to concealers. I want them to conceal and just make it look perfection. Oh, that is actually really, really pretty. So most of the products I'm using in today's video will be new for me. There are a couple repeats like my brow pencil um, I just haven't really found a brow pencil that's affordable for me. And the bronzer I did just use in my Essence One Brand line. But other than that, like, almost everything is brand spanking new. Loving this concealer. Like, this is a brightening one. So I'm going to go in with the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. I did pick up Translucent. 
I've heard like so many people say that this is like their holy grail ride or die. It does come like with a little poof, which I like, and it is sealed. I'm waiting for like powder to just go flying up. Oh, yes. Oh, it smells like baby powder. Like what you use when, you know, your little ones are tiny and you're powdering their little butts. Mine's 23 already, and it's like, where has the time gone? Because I miss that little one. So I'm gonna take the other end of my sponge and grab some on, and I'm going to set that under my eyes. I'm not like a huge fan of baking, I'm just kind of getting into it, but it does help to not crease anywhere. So I'm just going to leave that on my nose like it is or under my eyes. And I am going to take a wet and wild brush. This is just like the foundation brush. I'm going to take what's left in there and just kind of really go in and set my makeup. Set the foundation because I want to be able to give it like a true good wear test today. Um, my adopted child that was in like a guess your makeup prices video has decided to move out. Didn't exactly do it the, the proper way. Um, I kind of did it when mom was in the hospital. I'm gonna go in now and dust that off, but still use it to blend it in. Oh, this is gorgeous, like, wow. So I was highly, highly considering moving into his front room like with the bedroom because it's literally right across the hall. Um, and then have this room as like the craft or beauty room. But the front room, I really get like there's two windows. So I'm contemplating going in that room with the beauty room and bedroom. So now I'm taking the Kaleido, Kaleido Cosmetics, and this is in Skin Blush. It is cruelty-free, vegan-free, um, and this is in Prom Queen. This is, I checked their website before I used it because I got this in Ipsy. It's got a cute little mirror. Um, this is $8. So let's see how this is going to pay off. Oh, I didn't bronze. I knew I was missing something. I'm just gonna go in with my Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder and I am in Natural. I use this in my Essence One Brand tutorial and I love it, like the pan size. It smells like, you know, someplace tropical. So I'm just gonna kind of bronze up my skin. So yeah, I, like the closet is a lot bigger in there so it would make more sense for me to move like bedroom in there for clothes and I'm thinking, highly, highly thinking about moving the beauty room, beauty area in there as well because it'll be really good to have some extra natural light, you know, to do makeup and videos and it is a little bit bigger. It's not purple, it's like a, a cream color, but that's fine. Purple was Graham's color and um, I think then this room I'll just leave as like a craft room and I will bring my books upstairs. I have like five bookcases full of books. So now I'm gonna go in with the Kaleido Cosmetics blush. Never use this. I'm gonna do a swatcheroo. It is very buttery, very kind of glittery. So let's, oh, pigment, honey, yes. So let's see how this looks. I'm usually not a fan of like, glittery blushes but oh my gosh this is beautiful it's like the right touch of sun but yet a little bit of shimmer I could almost use this as a highlighter beautiful love it as a first impression I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer just a teeny tiny bit and just kind of tone it down just a tad so now for highlight 
I am going to go in with this flower palette. This is in Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. So you get three of them. Flower is available at Ulta. It was at Walmart, but I'm wanting to say that they may have just moved over to Ulta. So I'm gonna go in, oh, these are buttery. Yes, I'm just gonna swatch right here. So that's the first, second, and third, first, second, third. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Wow. So I'm gonna go in with, I think I'm going to go in with the gold one. Wow, pigmented, picks it up. Love that. And just highlight, oh yes. Loving this. Did I see, that? oh, whoo, yes, honey. Loving this. So yes, with the other Zach moving out, he has left his cat behind. Um, just a bunch of fun stuff. Oh, I am loving this highlighter palette. Wow. So now let's kind of focus on some of the other fun stuff. I forgot to use my brow gel. My Ulta Beauty Brow Shaping Gel in clear. This way my brows will not go anywhere today. So wondering how many of my viewers and subscribers enjoy NASCAR. And if you do, um, who's your favorite driver? I have a few. I'm gonna go in with the Essence Eyeliner Extra Long Lasting up top and just line the upper lid. Um, like I said, I have a few drivers. Man, that highlighter is just stunning. My first and foremost favorite driver though is Casey Kane. So you can see there is a picture of him up here a little bit higher. There's me and Casey. That was the first time I ever got to meet him. Um, super, super sweet guy. His whole family is really nice. I got to meet his girlfriend a few years ago. Um, and I got to hold his son, which, oh, is he a doll baby? He's such a good combination of Casey and his girlfriend. And anytime that I see his girlfriend, she always gives me a huge hug, asks how we're doing. Like, it's just a great family atmosphere there. Um, I also like Daniel Suarez. I call him my papi. He races for Joe Gibbs, which Casey's retiring full-time at the end of this season, um, but he's still going to be involved. He has his own race team with the wing sprints in the World of Outlaws that he does. And there's like a few others. Um, Clint Boyer was my grandmother's favorite, so we do root for him. Um, I like Kevin Harvick. You know, just some of the, the good old boys. So now I'm gonna take the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. The wand just looks like that. And if you guys didn't know already, we are a huge NASCAR family. My son actually worked in the industry for about a year after we moved here. And he still has some amazing opportunities available for him. And I have a friend that has his own Xfinity team and truck. So he's the owner operator. And I also have another friend that I talk to on a pretty consistent basis that has um, his own truck team. So I am very thankful with meeting the people that I have in the NASCAR industry. Um, Mom and I do volunteer for Martin Truex and his girlfriend, Sherry, and they're just really, really great people. Like, even everybody that works at Martin's shop, um, they're super, super sweet, 
Um, we did a volunteer with them at their catwalk for a cause and it's basically like raising money for children with cancer and it was so amazing to be there and witness what they do. So now I'm going to go on with the Ulta Beauty Gel Eyeliner in Chocolate. This is the first time I am using this one. And I'm going to hold up my under eye down and just, let me warm it up a little bit. There we go. And just a tight line here. So I usually do go to the Xfinity races and the truck races when they are here in Charlotte. Um, one of my two friends gets me in and it's really amazing to see like the behind the scenes, you know, what they're doing to get the cars ready. Um, you know, seeing the pit crew in action, it's, it's pretty cool. In fact, I'm going to the race next Saturday, so excited about that. So now I am going to take a, like, actually, I'll go in with, it's um my crease brush, but I like it for under the eyes too. And let's see what color do I want to use. You know, I'm just gonna go in with the shade Mug Cake, which is this brown down here, and smoke out the lower lash line with that chocolate eyeliner. Ooh, yes. I am just loving this palette. Wasn't sure how much I would like it. I mean, I do love Makeup Revolution's eyeshadows. You know, they are amazing for their quality. bad. Now I'm going to do a little highlighting. I'm going to take my, where is my brush? I'm just going to take this, it's an Ulta small eyeshadow brush, but I'm actually going to use it for the highlighting to do the inner corner and brow bone. And I'm going to go in with the same shade that I use for like a little tapping picks up so much product. And I don't like to go too ham with it. I like to kind of just build it up. And just a little teeny tiny bit up here. Yes, loving. Now for lip liner, I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Bear to Comment. These are such great lip liners. It's just retractable, super easy to use, and so creamy and buttery. I don't think I've used this one before. No, I haven't. I mean, just like that, the lips are lined. They're like $2.99, I think. I will list prices for everything down below. Then I'm gonna go in with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this one is in Leon. Love this formula. Like, NYX is just amazing, and it does have a gorgeous doe foot applicator. And there is the look. 
And finally, to finish it off, I'm gonna go in with my Ulta Beauty Matte Makeup Setting Spray. If I don't drop it on the floor first, and just set it and forget it. Love the sprayer on this. It is like perfection. The only product I've tried, and then I just kind of like to just push it in just a little bit more to really lock that in. The only product by Makeup Revolution I've tried so far that I do not like is the setting spray. And it's the nozzle, like it's the applicator itself that I don't like. So let's just kind of go through, do a little bit of a recap on new products I've tried. JCap Beauty Face Primer, I am loving it. This Cody Airspun, oh my gosh, like it is just amazing. My Wet n Wild Lip Liner, love it. Like I've used other ones and they are so creamy and buttery. This Flower Beauty Highlighting Palette is everything. This is probably like the second expensive thing that I've used today. Everything's like under $15. This L'Oreal Lumi Cushion, I am loving this like almost as much as I love the liquid foundation. This just is a little easier to apply because the other one is just a regular bottle. The Ulta Beauty Gel Eyeliner, I love all of Ulta's products, like hands down. This Kaleido Cosmetics, like it just gives that extra glow, but a little bit of color onto your cheeks that you want. This Makeup Revolution and Sofex collab is beautiful. I can't wait to get more uses out of it. And the Catrice Prime, or C Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer is actually pretty good. So as always, I will list everything down in the description bar below. I will list the prices and let you know also how it wears later on throughout the day. Like I said, kind of a neutral Nelly day. I have to go get some medicine for my son and the lovely one-eyed bastard cat that we call him. Um, but other than that, I'm just kind of having a chill day and may move some stuff around in the house. So thank you so much for watching. Comment in the section below some of your newer products that you really like. And also if anybody has favorite NASCAR drivers, I'd like to know if we are all in the same community. So that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I love each and every one of you. And until next time, love you guys. Bye-bye.